hello. So close. Okay, I think we're good. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. It seems like these weeks are all blurring into one and I've totally lost track of what I'm supposed to be filming and when because I took a little bit of a break. I'm filming this a lot later than I wanted to. I had a complete mishap with my eyeliner. Oh, you probably feel the pain through the video. But yeah, so my eyeliner completely messed up on one side of my face. So I had to take it all off and do my makeup back all on that side of my face. So I'm filming this a lot later than I intended. The lighting is also changing because today is sunny and rainy and it's all happening. But I finally decided to sit down and film. I felt like having a chat with you guys. So I'm just gonna film anyway. I am very sorry for like all the lighting changes. But um, yeah, I don't really know what to do with that. I don't really want to film with the lamp because I've still got natural light. So grab your cuppa, tea or coffee, and let's get into it. I have been meaning to film like a favourites video for a while. I thought this would be a good opportunity because I've been doing a lot of like stuff at home. So by like doing a lot of stuff, I mean I've been like panning a lot of things. I've been trying new products. I've been doing new things, I've been finding new things that I like and there's been a lot going on I think for all of us over the last month or so so I thought I'd do like a monthly faves type video but just kind of everything so not necessarily like products but like everything that I've been enjoying over the last month um yeah okay let's get into it I really shouldn't have left this in the coffee okay right so I'm gonna start off with the usual type stuff so like um skincare, makeup, all of that good stuff and I thought I would start with skincare because there are a few products at the minute that I've been absolutely loving and I thought I'd share them with you guys because I don't share a lot of skincare type stuff on my Instagram or anything like that and I thought it would be a good way to kind of talk you guys through what I've actually been enjoying. So I've been specifically enjoying two cleanser type products and used together. So this is the, the fl Blah, 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 blah. This is the Fario Luna 3. It is like a facial massaging cleansing brush. And this is the Pixi Skin Treats Hydrating Milky Cleanser with Coconut and Probiotics. It's a soothing cleansing cream. Wow, that was a mouthful. I've been enjoying both these products used together. When I first got this, it came with a little like Fario's own brand cleanser, like a tester of it. And I did enjoy that, but I ran out and Pixie had sent me over some products to try and I thought this would be the closest to the small kind of tester product from Foreo and I was right this is so like the tester product they sent me it's ridiculous it has this sort of thick consistency but it's got a lot of I don't know if you can see that it's like sticking up it's quite thick and I really like that it foams nicely as well. One thing I would say is that it does leave you with squeaky skin. If you don't know what I mean, it's when you use a cleanser and after you use it, you kind of like rub your face and it's kind of like If you've ever used a cleanser that's a little bit drying, that's sort of what it feels like. So when I first used this, I did not enjoy it all that much because I was so busy worrying about why my skin was feeling like it was squeaking and I thought it would be quite drying but after using this for a very long time I haven't found it to be drying at all it's really weird like it's it's a rich moisturizing cleanser but it leaves you with squeaky skin I had to get through like what like the sun has arrived I had to get through like a quarter of the product to actually see some benefits and I've been really enjoying this one. I can tell when I don't use these products together. I can tell when I've just used this and another cleanser and I can tell when I've just used this on their own. They work really really nicely together but this is also a really good option for you if you just like washing your face like double cleansing after taking off your makeup with a cloth or something. This is a really good one guys and it's not that expensive I would recommend. Next up we have the Foreo Luna 3. I'm very lucky that they sent me this over. I had a Foreo Luna Mini. I should have brought that over too. It's like a smaller size version of this. I think it was the Luna 2 and it's basically just like um, silicone bristles. They're very soft and it also has a massaging back. This is the little charging port. And yeah, it's like a facial cleanser. Let me see if I can turn it on. It took me ages to figure out how to turn this thing on. So you have to like hold it down, but like really quickly. No. Yeah, there we go. So hopefully you guys can hear that, but it just has these pulses, like sonic vibrations, I think they are. I'm wondering if it will change because yeah, there you go. So you can hear that it's changed. And what I thought was really cool 
is, let me see if I turn this off. Yeah, there we go. Right, so there is an app. Oh, rather bright. So there is an app called Foreo Sweden, and it looks like that, which is the Foreo is there. And what I thought was really cool about this app is you can like put your like device on there. So that's my Foreo Luna 3, it's on there. And you can change the settings. So you can connect your Foreo product through the app and then change the settings on it. So you can change, for instance, like the area of your face, how long and how intense you want the pulses. So if you have sensitive skin, for instance, on your cheeks, you can set it up so that the vibrations are on the lowest setting um, when you go over your cheeks so that you don't irritate your skin. I thought it was a really nice touch and it's so personal. Like with these cleansing brushes, it's sort of a one size fits all usually. And I have tried a lot of cleansing brushes and this one's just, it's just so <laughs> innovative in the sense that it lets you decide what type of vibrations you want and what areas of your face need those vibrations. I hope that makes sense, but I've really been enjoying this. Also a pro to this one is you don't have to change the head. This is, um, I think it's an anti antimicrobial material that they use. So when you use it to wash your face, it sort of like washes itself in a sense. You don't need to replace the head and it won't like gather bacteria or anything like that. I've been really enjoying that as well. I've spoken about this one on my IGTV, but I haven't spoken about it on here, so I thought I'd come on here and talk about it because it is by far my favorite night mask that I've ever tried. It's extremely rich, so you really don't need that much of it, and I don't use it all the time because I have oily combo skin. If I was to use this every night, I think it would be a bit much and my skin would end up clogging up, but I use this as a treat maybe once or twice a week just for that intense moisture hit to like refuel my skin get it nourished and then i'll use a normal night cream for all the other nights of the week but i thought i'd share this with you guys especially if you have dry to normal skin this one might be a really good option for you because it really is so nourishing and uh yeah it's just so good it also smells like coconut my gosh it's it literally smells like tropical holidays and that's making me both happy and sad at the same time but I thought I'd show you some of the product anyway. It's like a really thick cream, you can see there, and yeah, it just kind of sits on your skin really, really nicely and it just, it's like quite thick so it's tacky like that, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's tacky and it will sit on the top of your skin when you go to bed and you wake up in the morning with baby soft skin and I can contest to that. I have used so much of this, but I've got so much left because as you can see how, with how much I put on my hand, if I'm using it one to two times a week, just as a, like a nourishing moisture boost, you're not using that much product and it lasts absolutely ages. The formula is amazing. I haven't found anything I like more than this in terms of like a really intense moisture mask. Because I am combo and oily, it's difficult to find a moisture mask that just doesn't leave me feeling greasy or one that's not too light so that it doesn't do anything. Really love this one, would recommend it to anyone that's looking for a really good moisture boost that smells amazing, you'll love it. Okay, sorry if um, the lighting has changed on camera. I've switched to auto, even though I hate filming anything on auto. I switched to auto just because the lighting is changing like every few seconds and I can't keep up with it. It's changed again, like it's... I need some consistency. So there's been one hair care product that I've been just obsessed with over the last month. It is the Grow Gorgeous Repair Strengthening Hair and Scalp Mask. And it looks a little bit like this. And it's like a, oh God, it smells so good. Um, it's like a whipped mask. I'm trying to describe how it smells. And I was trying to work it out the other day before filming this. In the pot, the smell is so nondescript, but when it's on your hair, I swear it smells like pineapple. I might be making it up, it might just be in my head, but it smells like pineapple. Everything is against me today. There's construction, the lighting's changing, it's all happening. I really love the packaging. It's rose gold and it's got the lilac kind of tag on it. And I just, yeah, it's all matted. I think they look so high end and it's just really pretty. Like in the bathroom, it just like, really sits pretty and yeah, I, I've been absolutely loving it as like a repair type mask. My hair, 
my hair is not doing too well it's um been bleached quite a lot and i haven't been able to go to the salon to get a cut obviously so i've got some split ends so i wanted a strengthening type product to just get really inside the hair and stop as much breakage as possible even though I, I know eventually i will need to go for a haircut hopefully um in the summer or something like that just to get rid of the dead ends but yeah i'm having a lot of breakage and this has been really helping to leave my hair feeling strong and nourished like it does have a lot of body to it and bounce to it and it doesn't look too dead like it, it looks quite okay i hope it looks okay on camera anyway but yeah i've been really enjoying using this i've been using it as a conditioner um not really as a mask so instead of conditioner i'll just put this in i just think this is a really good option in terms of mask it, you know the type of masks you buy sometimes you put them in your hair and then you go to wash them out and then it feels like when you touch your hair like it's all been washed out like there is no mask left this doesn't feel like that it feels like something has stayed and kept the hair silky and nourished and yeah i really like the way it feels i love the way my hair looks after i use it this is a total throwback for me i used to use this all the time when i was 20 21 and i was obsessed with lush like i bought everything on the lush kitchen i used to go in lush and every time i went into town i went to uni in cardiff and every time i went to the town center i would go into lush and have a look at things and probably buy something um i was just so obsessed with lush every product in my bathroom was a lush product i was a proper lushy i used to go in the lush kitchen it was a thing it was a phase and i picked this up because i thought I really need something nourishing for my body skin. I've been noticing more recently that the skin on like my legs will get dry super easily even if I moisturize every day. I need something a bit stronger. I need to be moisturizing really in the shower and my mind thought of this. So I thought I'd pick this up in a small size because it's a bit of a pricey product and I think that is because the rose extract that they use is quite expensive to like obtain. So yeah, um that's a thing when I used to buy this. So I thought I'd pick this up in a small size because it's a really quite pricey product for what it is. I remember back when I was 20, 21 and I was buying it, I would buy the big tubs and make them last forever just because it's more economical to buy the big ones and make them last forever. But I just wanted to try this again as a bit of a nostalgia moment. And it really is like a nostalgia moment, like the smell. Oh, it takes me back to being 21. It's the weirdest thing. So that's what the product looks like. You just rub it in after washing with some shower gel and you rinse and that is it. And it just moisturizes your skin in the shower. It smells amazing, a little bit pricey, but for me, it was a little nostalgia moment. And yeah, I remembered why I was buying this back then because it is an absolutely wonderful product. It is the best in shower moisturizer I have ever used. It's just, oh, it's just such a nostalgic moment for me. Next up. I'm talking room mists yeah we've changed quite quickly we've gone from shower to room mists i've been using a product that i um promoted on instagram i think about a month or two ago and when it was sent to me i was like i'm so into this product this is a me product through and through because it's a relaxing room spray and i've been using relaxing room sprays whether it's like a pillow spray a bedroom spray a linen spray a sheet spray whatever they whatever they want to call it i've been using them for years i just find them so relaxing it takes me back to when i was younger and my aunt used to spray lavender oil on my sheets put it in my bath she used to do so much with relaxing oils with me she used to burn oils get me to relax do meditation and it just takes me back to that and it instantly brings me down like my energy and it just gives me a moment of calm so i have been using this product religiously every night it's the crabtree and evelyn the gardener's stars in the night room mist and it has blends of orange blossom sandalwood and thuya wood I'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right but it's citrusy woody and it says it's a dream machine which i quite like it's just so relaxing like it's both relaxing and uplifting it's definitely a woody citrus scent which is a little bit more different to the other room mists i have which are more like lavender floral based so this is a fantastic alternative if you're not into florals or if like me your partner isn't too into florals he just finds it a bit too overpowering this is so nice and woody and relaxing i assume this is what it would be like to fall asleep in like a woody forest somewhere where it's like all mossy and foresty and like dreamy. I find it a way to get in the mindset of going to bed. So I spray it on the bed before we get in. And it's just that little scent of, oh, it's bedtime. And then your body starts realizing, okay, we need to start unwinding and relaxing. 
and I've been spritzing this on my bed every night for the last what month or two months and there's still so much product left like, it's a very strong scent it's not too like watered down so you don't need too much of it so if you're looking for a room spray that will last a long time is a little bit bougie and isn't too floral you'll really really enjoy this one next up is a tanning product I mentioned this one in my ultimate tanning guide video and I just thought to mention it again because I have used this a handful more times since filming that video. I did mention this product in my ultimate tanning guide video but I thought I'd mention it again because I have been using it a handful more times since the last video I think and I must say I really really like this tan. I have absolutely been blown away by this tan. It doesn't like patch up anywhere, you don't get tiger bread, um, tiger bread skin, you know, when your tan starts flaking and stuff like that, you don't get that. I've also had like no lines whatsoever, even on my hands, in my fingers, I've had like no lines, like this is absolutely mind blowing. The colour is also absolutely stunning. Even though the colour is dark, like it doesn't come across like too dark at all, it's very natural and yeah, I just, I really, really like it, I think this is my new favourite fake tan. Ever. When I first started using it I was a bit scared because it doesn't blend all that easily and I woke up in the morning and I had like stripes like stripes up my arms um, where the guide colour had moved. It's quite a thick guide colour and it does go all over your bed just so you guys know. It was like it was like streaky and I was really panicking and I got in the shower and washed it off and my tan was flawless and I was like well this has been a roller coaster of emotions this morning because I've gone from like oh my god I have my tan's gone wrong to like oh my god this is the most amazing tan of my life it was a complete roller coaster it's a little bit pricey but if you are very into fake tan you have to try this it will change your life right on to a few makeup products that I've been absolutely loving I have been really loving this La Masca Beyond Powder Highlighter in Oh My God, it was in my Get Ready With Me video and I'd only just used it a few times in that Get Ready With Me video and I've been using it every day since and I just think that it's the prettiest universal highlighter. It's just so glowy and dewy but not sparkly at all. It gives you the most beautiful sheen on your face. It's also really good for the inner eye corners and I just thought it was so pretty. It's like a champagne gold. It's not too gold. It's not too intense. You can build it up. You can put it on sheer. It's so versatile. I've been really enjoying it. One of my favourite new products that I have. I've also been very much enjoying I've spoken about these before but the Afterglow Lip Balms by NARS. I think I have about four of the shades and yeah I really like these. If you're looking for a lip balm with a little bit more like zhuzh, like a little bit of sun sun, you'll really enjoy these. They've got like subtle shimmers in which plump up the lips. I'm actually wearing it now so let's top it up. They're not plumping or anything but I do feel like they give a plumping effect to the lips. I think it's so pretty. But yeah, really love these. If you're looking for a lip balm that's a little bit more bougie and is a, has a little something different to it, you will love those. And I've also been enjoying my last like makeup type product. It is the Splash Hydrating Setting Mist from Alginus. This is such a fab hydrating setting spray. If like me, you do have to powder because you are more on the combo oily side, bringing your makeup back to being kind of hydrated and dewy is really hard after you've powdered. And this does a really good job. So after I powdered, I'll spritz this all over my face after I've applied all of my powder products, including my eyeshadow. Um, and I'll just pop it all over my face and it will just blend in all of the aspects of my makeup together and hydrate it all so it looks like a really nice dewy veil. Not too dewy, it doesn't make me oily, it doesn't make me greasy or anything like that. It just hydrates and for that reason I absolutely love it and I've been using it every day. Next up I want to talk about some books because I've been really reading a lot and I've been spending a lot of time just... I'll, I'll show you anyway. So not only have I been reading but I've been doing some colouring so I thought I'd pick up one of these books. It's the Colour and Calm kind of magazine and it has like patterns inside like this which you can colour in and I just thought it'd be really fun to pick one of those like adult colouring books up because I've never had one and I love colouring in and I also got these, they are the, how do I pronounce this now, Stadler, Stadler, Stadler. Try plus fiber tip pens. They're like adult felt tips, <laughs> which kind of cracks me up. But yeah, they've got like a variety of colors in there. 
But yeah, I just thought I'd pick these up because it's something to do and quite therapeutic. I've been really enjoying taking time out, even if it's just to colour like a little corner of a page. Super fun and very calming in a weird way. I love colouring between the lines. I'm one of those people like if something's in the line, I'm like, yes. So it's very satisfying for me. But if it goes wrong, it's also stressful. So I have to concentrate and just concentrate on that. And it kind of takes my mind away from what's going on elsewhere. I feel like my lighting has been all over the place in this video. I am so sorry. I can't control the weather. It's like half dark gray cloud and half beaming sunshine and i it's just one of those days guys next is a book that i absolutely love and i recommended it to alex after i read it he read it and he was like wow that was really good too this is this book it's the family upstairs by lisa jewel and i put it on my stories back when i first started reading it sort of like a flat lay like oh I'm just gonna read this with my coffee this morning and so many people dm'd me and said oh my god it's amazing you're gonna love it and i was like really like this many people have dm'd me saying it's amazing and since then every time i see someone put this on their stories like about to tuck into a new book i'm like oh my god you're gonna love it so i've become one of those people and yeah i just i would recommend i don't want to tell you too much about the story because it's just so like what is going on so well written the storyline is fantastic it just keeps you gripped for the whole thing and you kind of don't know where it's going but the story is getting deeper and more twisted and everything kind of comes together at the end and you're like oh okay that all makes sense it's really satisfying read um, the characters are really well developed you learn a lot about the different characters and it's a really interesting interesting book so if you enjoy a little bit of mystery fiction you'll probably really enjoy this I'm usually more of a kind of crime type reader but this is really good so good that I bought a few other books by this author and I can't wait to read them they are next on my list so next up is something a little bit different if you like manga and horror or either or you should read these they are the junji ito kind of horror manga series of books and i, I just absolutely love them i've reread uzumaki and i'm gonna move on and reread the others whilst we're in lockdown they are quite big but i'll show you like they're just it's just like a manga book. The illustrations are absolutely beautiful. And yeah, it's just a manga, so you just read it back to front. Well, we say back to front, but like the right way around in Japan. And yeah, it's it's in English. Very easy to read, like it doesn't take too long. Like it looks like an absolute monster of a book, but it's very quick and easy to read. And it's more about really appreciating the illustrations and the manga drawings. This one in particular, I found very interesting. It's about um spirals so it's a horror book about spirals and yeah it's just i don't want to tell you too much about what it's about or any of the others but i would say you should definitely give them a read if you like horror because they are definitely a lot twisted like a lot twisted in a lot of them you're kind of like oh okay <laughs> they're very twisted if you like horror and gore and like body horror that sort of thing you'll absolutely love these um they are an investment they're a bit expensive but you are paying for a beautiful book with stunning illustrations you are paying for a little bit of culture and a little bit of art in these books. They are absolutely beautiful. The illustrations are absolutely stunning. It's essentially like a, a book of short stories and I don't I don't even know how long it would take to storyboard them all and then illustrate them all. It's definitely an investment because they are a bit expensive, but they are books to keep and they are just so interesting and so different and it's very refreshing. If you're into that sort of horror, definitely have a look at Junji Ito's manga books because they are just a collection of short horror stories and they're just something a bit different so yeah if you're into manga and or horror definitely check these out they are all by an artist called junji ito and they are all like short horror stories all made into one book over like one theme so uzumaki is about spirals give them a little google give them a check out i'll leave links down below if i can find them like online to buy but yeah, I always enjoy rereading these. They are such fun books and they're great to have in your collection. So I was going to talk about things that I've been enjoying online, but I feel like everyone's kind of been enjoying the same things. <laughs> like there's no point in me coming on here and talking about Tiger King because, you know, we're all kind of going around going, Carol Bass, killed her husband, slashed. 
but I have really been enjoying playing The Sims 4. I have been playing The Sims 4 for a very long time, probably about a year or two now. So like when this sort of all happened, everyone was downloading Sims, I was like, yes, join the club, guys. Um, I have been really enjoying like downloading some CC, some custom content on The Sims resource and modding that into the game. And yeah, I've been really enjoying just adding a little bit of variety in terms of like outfits and stuff like that because the stuff that comes with the EA packs can be a little bit boring so I've been adding different like makeup and outfits like you can download packs of like Ikea furniture and you know Scandi style furniture and this and that so I've been like adding that into the game and doing a lot of creative builds and stuff which I just find really inspiring and also quite relaxing because when you finish it like it's just yours it's there like no one else is gonna look at it no one else is gonna judge it no one else is gonna like like it or comment on it or anything like that it's just there to just look at it and be like oh look i made a nice cottage or you know whatever you've built and it's just so satisfying and i've been really enjoying it i've also been really enjoying baking so this is just like <laughs> it's just a tupperware box filled with what's left of my lemon loaf i was hoping to film this when i had like a significant amount of lemon loaf keep in mind right i i baked two whole loaves of lemon drizzle cake and there are four slices left and i haven't eaten them so alex has devoured all of this cake so it's got to be good right i'll take it as a compliment but still so yeah i made a dreamy oh god made a dreamy lemon drizzle cake and it's lovely and m word i won't say it because i know it will get some of you and annoy some of you but it wasn't dry if you know what I mean. This was super easy and super quick to bake. I ended up using a one pound loaf, as in one pound is in the weight, like a one pound loaf tin instead of two pound. I made two smaller loaves just because one big two pound loaf, it's, it's a lot in one big cake. So we were able to cut it up into like smaller pieces. I hope you can see there anyway. And I left the recipe on my highlights on my Instagram. So if you go on my Instagram and there's a highlight saying recipes. I've also got my vegetarian lasagna recipe. If anyone wants that, I always get asked for that. It's in there. <laughs> so there's a vegetarian lasagna recipe on there, in there. And cookies, I think. And now lemon drizzle. I'll be adding every week on a Sunday. I'm going to try and do like a new bake. And I'll be leaving my bake recipe in there. As well as like any tweaks. So like if I find a recipe online, if I tweak the recipe, I'll put my tweaks in there because I do tweak my recipes quite a lot because I have some experience in baking. So that's all on there if you want to see it. I just wanted to let you guys know that I've been absolutely loving baking. So far I've done brownies, which were okay. They were the best. They were cream egg brownies. And I feel like the cream egg made them like too sweet. They needed a little bit more like, maybe I'll do salted caramel next time or something. But they were okay. Then I did cookies and they were amazing. Alex ate like five of them straight out of the oven. And now I've done lemon loaf. So I think I might do a banana bread this Sunday. And then the week after that, I'll try and do blondie brownies because I've always wanted to make them. And they look really delicious. I love white chocolate. So I'm going to give those a go. I also thought I'd mention what I'm wearing because this is a petite. God, every time. Broad rail glaze broad rail glaze it's one of those dresses with it's not exactly like a puff sleeve it's not elastic or anything it kind of just sits like that and it's in petite it's a midi dress in petite and yeah i just thought i'd mention this because it's like a tiered let me see if i can stand up and show you so it's like a tiered midi dress and it's in petite and it actually fits me which i love it's just so pretty and dainty it also has like an underlay under the Broderie Anglaise or like it's like a dobby material I think that's what they call it as well underneath that as well so it's not see-through and yeah I, I think they're so well put together it's from New Look I'll leave a link down below and it's really soft it's like cotton and it's just one of those dresses that's so easy to throw on and wear with trainers sandals heels it just feels really pretty and yeah I feel very comfortable in it because it's like that breathable material that's super comfortable and for this price yeah, I've just been really enjoying wearing this dress. I thought I'd wear it today because it's super comfortable. But I'll leave a link down below. But if you're looking for something like this, it's a bit more lightweight that you could just put on. It's no faff. Like, there's no buttons. There's no ties. It's literally just a smock dress that you put on. And it's on. And it's done. You're going to love this dress. I'll put the link down below anyway in case you want to shop it. But I just thought I'd mention it because, yeah, I really 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 like it okay guys i think that might be everything let me know down below if anything took your fancy or if anything you're interested in i'm happy to share some more details about any of this stuff 
if you want any like further details about anything do let me know in the comment section down below also if you have any like video requests do let me know on like instagram dm or you can put a comment down below let me know what you want to see from me because i always find that really interesting to hear if you liked this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content and i will see you guys in my next video bye